Hello, I'm Renan Erickson, and today I'm going to show you how to do an eight-way character animation using Adobe Flash Professional, exporting a Starling sprite sheet, and then rendering that uh, Starling sp sprite sheet as animations in Starling. So Flash Professional is part of the Creative Cloud. You can go download uh, Flash Professional CS6, and then we can go into Flash. And what we have here is a library of a whole bunch of animations. So if I click into these, I can bring up the timeline here. And I have animations of a moving character. So these frames in this animation can be anything I want to do. Um, these are images already taken from the other examples I've done. But uh, you could do tweens or different things here like you normally do in Flash Professional. So what you do now to get to Sprite Sheet is you can select everything in the library or you can actually select an item on the screen and uh, there's an option to generate Sprite Sheet which is not showing up. So you see it there, Generate Sprite Sheet. So if you select just one or multiple it will recognize those and they'll show up over here and you can uncheck which ones you want. So there's a lot of different options to then create this sprite sheet here. Um, what we want to do is actually select Starling. There's also another quite a few different frameworks you can select uh, sprite sheet generation for. Uh, automatic size. So you can play with these different things to get exactly what you want. But basically it is a PNG with uh, all the different frames of your animations from your movie clips and it will create a texture atlas along with that so to tell it uh, where everything is. So you export this um, and then you're ready to go there. So what we need to do now is actually come into the game. So this is a Starling game. So I've downloaded um, Game Developer SDK from Adobe Creative Cloud and it comes with Starling or you can get Starling off the open source project basically I create a normal sprite and then I set up the Starling class and pass in a game class that I want and uh, let Starling do all the uh, stage 3D stuff under the hood so in the game class what I want to do is basically create a texture from our bitmap so our, our PNG is our bitmap and um, I'm going to go ahead and create that and then I'm going to read in the texture atlas um, data as XML and then there's this texture atlas class in Starling that knows how to apply both those so then I can come in and ask for the textures I want so here's the name of my movie clips um, and add to zero zero um, to make sure that it's unique so that DirectS doesn't pick up DirectSE and um, I just basically pull in the texture so it knows by uh, this class does something nice so it pulls in the texture atlas for me um, in the XML file uh, by name and so all I do is create a movie clip um, uh, add the movie clip to the stage uh, I'm not going to make them all visible at the same time add it to the juggler so the animation frames get uh, moved on of course I stop them uh, and only play the one that I want to so basically then once this class is out of the stage I go ahead and push all the movie clips in the right place right in the middle at a touch event and then listen for a touch event to again check out where the mouse is and define which one is visible and play that animation so what, do, what does this look like so we, here we have the animation as I move the mouse around there is eight way character ma animation running in Starling um, and Flash using Flash Professional CS6 and using the movie clip um, sprite sheet generator thank you for watching